Hello and welcome to the Live Canvas channel. In this video, we're going to talk about dynamic templating. This feature allows you to use Live Canvas to design, for example, the single post or the archive template of your site, effectively controlling how a whole subset of pages of your site look like. Let's dive into a practical example and see how to get started. First of all, make sure you're using an updated version of the Live Canvas plugin. The templating feature has been introduced in version 3.2. Now head over to the Live Canvas backend settings panel and enable the option labeled Handle WordPress Templates. Save the settings. As you can see, on the left side of the screen, a new menu has appeared called Dynamic Templates. Let's visit this section and then click the Add New button. So right now, on the right side, we need to choose which template we want to control. Let's click the Single Posts checkbox. As you can see on the left side, a starter example code is immediately loaded. Please note that this is just HTML, with some simple shortcodes in it that recall the WordPress template functions. We have an extensive documentation about these shortcodes. Check for the link in the description below. But now, let's confirm by clicking the Publish button. So what happens right now is that all the single posts will be displayed on the front end using this template. Let's open a new browser tab and check out how single posts look like. As you can see, not too bad. But the great thing is that now we can easily customize the template just manipulating HTML and shortcodes inside the Live Canvas interface. Let's go back to the Dynamic Templates administration screen. Please note that after saving or publishing, the Edit with Live Canvas button appears. Let's try it. The Live Canvas editor does load the dynamic template and then does render the preview using the data from your latest published post. You are free to edit any element, but please mind that to customize these dynamic elements, such as the post title and the post content, just clicking them won't work. You'll need to use the HTML editor. As an example, Let's say we want to make categories black and bigger. Let's open the row menu and open the HTML editor. Let's now edit the category's shortcode. As you can see, it takes a class parameter to help you visually customize it. We can use background dark instead of the background primary and add the RFS8 to make it bigger. While editing, the live preview shows you the shortcodes for a moment and then renders their content. Now let's see another example to show how you can customize the category template. First of all, in the WordPress backend, let's go to the dynamic template screen of Live Canvas and click the Add New button. Then on the right side, let's tick the appropriate checkbox, this time the Categories Archive. Again, a starter example template is loaded, this time it's a standard archive template. Let's publish the template so it is actively applied, and now let's check out how a category page looks like. As you can see, posts are shown as simple cards. In order to customize this template, let's go back to the dynamic template screen and edit this new category template with Live Canvas. As you can see, in the Live Canvas editor, the dynamic template does render a preview showing only a single post element in the loop. Let's now open the HTML editor of the main section and see how it works from the inside. As you might expect, in here there is the opening and the closing of a LC loop shortcode that delimit the start and the end of the post loop. Between those elements there are the HTML tags and the shortcodes that describe the repeated item, in this case the card. Of course you are free to edit things as you like and make your own super custom templates just by manipulating HTML and shortcodes. Again, please refer to our documentation about these shortcodes, there is a link in the description below. In our example, let's say that we want to remove the category badge. By the way, those are pretty much redundant in a category page. Let's remove the div that wraps the category shortcode and save the template. On the site front end, the category page of course now reflects our modification. Okay guys, that's it. I hope this video has been useful for you. If this was the case, I'd really appreciate if you click the like button.
By the way, in order not to miss our next updates, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.